what is going on guys welcome back to another video and as you can see it is spooky season here meaning winter is right around the corner now this video is going to be filmed in a couple of sections and the reason for that is this car needs its winter wheels which it's kind of funny because i'm wearing a t-shirt right now uh, it just so happens to be that it's a really nice weekend this this weekend and these are the winter wheels that we are putting on the car some sparko terras um, tires seem decent nothing crazy um, i don't even know what they are they're just they're winners so bbs's they're gonna be coming off um, i'm gonna miss the look of the bbs's i think it looks really clean on this car uh, the sparkles i think will look pretty nice as well a little dirty but i'm sure in time we'll clean her up this old girl right here she's gonna be going away soon um probably not for a couple more weeks so that's what i mean like this video is gonna be done in a couple of sections uh, plus, we still got to clean up the garage since we moved here. We just threw everything in there in time. Should be good to go. But let's get these wheels on. Alright, so we have a problem and basically what that is is the hub centric rings I thought mine were gonna fit well let me be straight up I had no idea if the car was gonna need them or not I assumed I didn't need them because the guy I bought it from never mentioned them or included them in the car uh, he probably just took them off threw them somewhere or whatever um, and I thought maybe I might have needed them so I took out my old ones and I tried test fitting them didn't fit so then I was like okay maybe we don't need them we need them. So for now, I have the wheels on. Uh, they're torqued down just so I can at least move the car around. So I've gone ahead and threw some air in the tires, made sure everything was full and ready. Um, we just need some rings. What I'm about to show you, I'm not proud of, but uh, you'll see what my dumbass overlooked. I had a feeling this might happen, but I thought it cleared. I really thought it cleared. Yep. So I knew it was close. Again, I thought it was gonna clear. My damn ass decided to move the car. I heard the noise and right away I knew what it was. As you can see, she rubbed. Do, do, do. So, on the spacers they go. I thought these were on here because the original balancing was off, but clearly they were for this reason. Well, with the uh, spacers on, she actually moves pretty freely now. If you can't see it, obviously it's so thin. It's like a three mil spacer or something like that. The car came with it, now I know why. And oddly enough, this side as well has a ring all around the inside of the wheel where the previous owner damaged it. Uh, passenger side was fine. Driver's side is the one that got the damage. But with these wheels on, luckily you can't see anything. As you can tell, it happened like somewhere in behind here. Uh, it is what it is. I was planning on repowder coating them anyways. It just sucks, you know. That's fine. Another project in the future, I guess. As you guys can tell, I'm a little bit behind with storing the STIs. You can see it's right there. I shouldn't even be having it running right now. Just life's been busy and so on. Like you can see the legacy has snow, snow in the trees and so on. It is what it is. However, I wanted to fix that fuel pump seal that I was missing. So I didn't want to do this procedure that I'm going to do now. And basically that is filling up the fuel tank. Last year I did not do it because I had a feeling I was going to be swapping out the fuel pump with the build. But now that's done, I know I'm not taking it out again. I'm gonna go ahead, drive her down, and fill her up with some fuel.
So for anyone that was wondering, that was 78.51 for 43.398 liters of fuel of 93. <laughs> I guess you gotta pay to play, eh? Alright guys, we are back home with a full tank of gas and I don't remember if I went over why I like to fill up the tank full of gas. Basically, if the tank is half full, you can get air in there with moisture. If it's sitting like that for a long period of time, you can get premature rust starting from the inside of your tank, working its way out. And I'd rather avoid that. So a full tank of gas should help with that. We'll see. Uh, I know last year only had half a tank. This year's full tank. The year before that was full tank. So we should be good. If anyone is curious how many kilometers we put on the short block since we've rebuilt it, I'll show you. It is 7,145.6 kilometers. That's what I just drove. Yeah. And almost 71,000 on the car. So far, engine is feeling still great. Um, I was kind of thinking over the winter holidays, maybe we do a compression test just to see how it's holding up. Uh, just out of curiosity. I'm sure it's fine. It feels fine, but it'd be cool to see. The only other thing to do now is to get this car stored away. And that might be a week or so. So honestly, you guys will probably see me when this car is full of snow. Uh, it sucks, but it is what it is because we moved the garage is full of crap. So I will be back and I will show you the last process of how I like to store this car for winter. A little late to the party, but she is finally gonna get parked. Uh, we just cleaned out the garage uh, enough to where we can park her. There's still lots of junk in there, as you could tell, but it's enough to where we can park her. She hasn't started up in over a month. She's been on a battery tender. Hopefully she starts. Uh, if not, we'll just boost her. It's not a problem. Uh, I'm gonna let her warm up before I even move her. And to be honest, she's probably frozen to the ground now because the cord that was there was frozen. So we'll see how difficult it is to raise her. I don't really do nothing really crazy parking it. Uh, while it warms up, I got some stuff I got to bring to the shed and put it for storage because we don't need it for the winter. Let's see if she starts. Honestly, I'll be surprised if she starts. actually parking it and you went right over the snow bump did you do that on purpose i literally was like you're so annoying i thought you did that on purpose you're like yeah fuck it yeah. <laughs> road isn't very well plowed and he has summers that are cambered and you can still hear him yay yep sliding just 
staring at me. did that. That wasn't a launch. That sounded like one. Oh, hey. So now your neighbors hate you? Take this, my fingers are actually gonna freeze off. It's weird seeing her in a garage. There's only a couple more things to do, and what that is is inside I bless you. Thank you. Inside I have whole clothes I like to put inside the car and peppermint leaves. So I'll just grab like a bunch of tea bags, throw them in the car, and uh, just bought a bunch of cups. Just to kind of put the whole clothes in and that will just make it easier to put on the car. Apparently rodents don't like it. I've been doing that for a couple of years now. Never had any issue with rodents getting in the car or nesting. Also, put a brick underneath your tire. Uh, you can maybe see it because you don't want to leave your e-brake up. If you leave your e-brake up, it can seize up inside and it will be a nightmare. And the last thing to do is put a battery tender on. So the car has had it on, as you can see, like it's pretty good right now. Um, this entire time it's been parked, it's been on. It's pretty simple. You just hook it up to your positive negative terminals, run it to a cord to your house and forget about it. I've used this now. This I believe is the third year using this and never had an issue. Battery start up every time. No problem. I'm also leaving it aired up for now, just in case if I want to jack it up and stuff later on, I might jack it up, but I don't know if I have jack stands for it. So she might just be staying on the floor, which honestly the first year, I think I just left it on the floor and it was fine. If I do jack it up, it's because I'm redoing the wheels. I'd like to redo them, but I don't know if I'm going to do them this year. We'll see. Let's go ahead, get all the whole clothes and tea bags in the car, and we can go inside and warm up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a little thing on it. What? Oh. oh it's like a puzzle. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so all I do now, take a couple cups, lay them in around the car, just an area I know the, ho the hood can close, just like right there maybe, and maybe like one over here, just like so, and then I'll just take a couple tea bags, slap them around, put one up there, I can put one right here, why not, another one maybe right here, and we'll leave one on top of the cob box. So I'll go throughout the car, interior and exterior, just make sure there's a bunch of these all over the place. I'll also do underneath the car just so it makes it so a rodent doesn't want to even come near the car. And once we're done that, we will be done. I also have more cups because I want to put some in the Impreza too. I know where I'm parting it out, but I just prefer to not have anything in there. So I'll get all this done and that'll be it guys. That is how I like to store my vehicles. If you guys learn anything or enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Take it easy.